Hi, everyone. My name is Colin, uh, but as many of you know, my friends call me Proto Colin, and I'm the ecosystem lead for the Filecoin project. I'm absolutely honored to give a quick update on all the activity that's been happening in the Filecoin ecosystem throughout the month of March. Uh, and I'll also, in this presentation, give an overview of the Filecoin network and its business case, describe the community's approach to the ecosystem growth, and highlight a tremendous amount of activity that shipped in the month of March for Filecoin. Great, so let's get into it. I'll first touch on why the Filecoin project exists. Falcon's mission is to create a decentralized, efficient, robust foundation for humanity's information. We truly believe that humanity's most valuable resource is information, and we're incredibly passionate about storing and protecting that valuable resource in an efficiently priced and distributed way. Now, this means addressing some of the fundamental problems with today's storage infrastructure, decentralizing the cloud away from a small number of centralized providers, uh, giving users full control over their data, so that users get to make your own decisions on what happens to the data that you store on the Filecoin network. Turning data storage into a pricing into an efficient market, allowing the network to set prices rather than a corporate pricing department, making storage verifiable to ensure that when someone says they're storing your data, they actually are. And lastly, optimizing the world storage and putting the zettabytes of latent storage capacity around the world to work. Now, what this means is that we move from a world where a small number of cloud storage uh, companies control how your data is stored and priced to a completely global open market where anyone can become a data storage provider. You can think of this as like the analogy to, to the Airbnb of storage, where instead of just having to pick from a few hotel chains, you now have a diverse set of options of different individuals and businesses that want to compete in unique ways to store your data with different prices, locations, retrieval speeds, various certifications, et cetera. And as an entire global network, uh, data storage providers on Filecoin are effectively able to compete with the scale, reliability, and price efficiency of the larger players. Now, the network itself can also store content on every corner, bringing content right to the edge where it's needed most by a set of clients. And of course, miners earn Filecoin and clients can exchange Filecoin for valuable services. Great. So the business case for Filecoin is also very strong. The amount of data we generate as a species is growing at a staggering rate. In 2020, the total amount of data generated around the world was 58 zettabytes. And that's expected to grow by 3x in the next four years to over 175 zettabytes. What's even more important is that today, only 7% of the world's data that gets generated actually gets stored, and that ratio is decreasing over time. It will be down to 5% in the next four years. Today's cloud storage infrastructure simply can't keep up, so we need to explore a different model if we want to set up the web for success in the future. Now, Falcon also transforms the fundamental business case and cost structure to be a storage provider. In 2020, to be a storage provider, you needed many things listed on the screen here. Now, Filecoin allows storage providers to focus on a core set of the business backend activities, a subset of the most valuable tasks a storage provider can do, and offloads the business front end to the Filecoin network itself. So similar to the powerful service Airbnb's network provides for individual home owners, it's uh, a very similar model here in the, in, in the Filecoin network. So this Filecoin really takes a market with some dominant storage providers and allows all sorts of data storage providers to be able to compete effectively with the scale, reliability, and price efficiency of the larger players as an entire network. And of course, this allows anyone from small mining rigs to advanced data centers to plug into the network and to together, stitch together and provide a robust foundation for humanity's information. Great, so that was a, a brief introduction into what the Filecoin network is and the fundamental business case. So I'll dive right into uh, an update for the month of March. I'll start by saying that it's really important to note that Filecoin is not just software. Filecoin is a rapidly growing ecosystem of thousands of talented people working towards a common goal. And that momentum is like a high-speed train that cannot be stopped. Every day, more talented developers, entrepreneurs, partners, and community members join the ecosystem. And it's the strength and growth of that ecosystem that makes Filecoin incredibly unique. 
Now, our approach to ecosystem development is also unique. Um, at the top here, it starts with ecosystem multipliers. These are major external companies uh, that join the Filecoin network and create new use cases, bridges to other Web3 ecosystems like Ethereum, et cetera, and also bridges to Web2 users that are entering Web3. So that's kind of at the top. In the middle here, we have a cycle of onboarding developers, primarily through hackathons, uh, but also educational resources and support. Turning those developers who are interested in, you know, building something amazing into projects. And we do, th we do that through accelerators, our grants programs, and mentorship. And finally, at the, at the tail end here, we turn those projects into businesses uh, through ecosystem funding and growth support. So that middle um, kind of axis there is, is a flywheel that onboards thousands of developers to hundreds of projects to hundreds of businesses at the end. And then at the bottom, which is the fundamental underpinning of the whole ecosystem is the miner growth. These are tools and resources to help miners incubate, grow, prosper, and expand geographically. So I'm gonna go through each of these uh, in a little bit of detail and highlight some of the things that happened in March. So first, ecosystem multipliers. What is an ecosystem multiplier? So an ecosystem multiplier is a, something that has a major impact on ecosystem growth and trajectory. It inspires major new use cases for the Falcon network. It uh, brings hundreds of new developers to the ecosystem. It bridges to other Web3 ecosystems like Ethereum or Polkadot, et cetera. And it also creates bridges where Web2 and Web3 can interact and transition using IPFS and Filecoin. All of these are led by strong ecosystem collaborators and partners that we, uh, that we work with. A couple of historical examples of, of ecosystem multipliers includes the collaboration with Consensus to bridge the Filecoin and Ethereum ecosystems. And that included uh, things like Infura and Codify and MetaMask and many others. Um, Textiles PowerGate was also an example of an ecosystem multiplier because the developer tooling enabled all sorts of developers from Web3 to Web2 to easily use the Filecoin network to store their files. Now, in March, we shipped a lot of ecosystem multipliers, the first of which was Chainlink, which chose to integrate with Filecoin. Chainlink is a leader in decentralized Oracle solutions, and this integration it brings a whole new set of potential use cases to Web3 developers. Smart contract developers can now access a full Web3 infrastructure stack, including blockchains for on-chain logic and state changes, oracles, Chainlink oracles for off-chain communication and computation, and of course, Filecoin for decentralized storage and data solutions. So it really completes a whole st stack for smart contract developers. Uh, LivePeer also announced a LivePeer plus Filecoin co-mining pilot. And this opens up a whole new, new world of possibilities for decentralized video on LivePeer and Filecoin. This basically enables Filecoin miners to become, also become LivePeer video miners while continuing to mine on the Filecoin network by storing transcoded video data. And so Filecoin miners can become leaders in decentralized video by offering transcoding, storage, and retrieval all in one place. And for users, that opens up tremendous reliability and, and a whole new world of possibilities for decentralized video within Web3. Truffle, uh, upgraded its developer suite um, and in integrated many aspects of Filecoin, which opens up a whole new world for new developers looking to easily use Filecoin and IPFS. The launch of the Filecoin developer suite uh, included three new features. One was Truffle Preserve, where you can very simply back up files to Filecoin, IPFS, and textile buckets without having to run a full node or anything like that. Two is uh, the Filecoin flavored ganache. This is a one-click experience for developers to create Filecoin apps. And so it really enables new developers to join the ecosystem. And three is the Filecoin truffle box. Uh, this was actually an easy example of a Filecoin app that can mint NFTs and provide de a decentralized art gallery, a gallery application. So for developers interested in developing NFT use cases, this is a great starting point. 
Uh, of course, in uh, in March, Brave integrated uh, IPFS into a native, and it actually became the first browser to offer native IPFS integration, which is really remarkable. IPFS integration gives Brave users easy access to the protocol while improving the overall resilience to the internet. And so we're excited for this collaboration to reach new heights in 2021. Additionally, within the browser strategy, Opera has now added support for IPFS to addressing uh, in Opera Touch, their iOS browser. Um, and they're also providing support for IPFS addressing in Opera desktop browser for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And that'll be coming within in their next release. So both of these, Brave and Opera, um, have made major inroads into the browser strategy of the decentralized web. Uh, FileHive launched, uh, which is um, an open marketplace to upload, maintain, and buy data sets. And for me, this is super exciting because this opens up a whole new world of possibilities for decentralized data markets. It leverages the Filecoin network to incentivize the storage and licensing of data sets, which are retrieved from the IPFS network. And so this whole ecosystem is built on top of Filecoin, PowerGate, and Loom, and opens up a world of possibilities for users to monetize their, the data sets that they own and maintain and are able to um, collaborate with others to, to open up a whole new business model for developers on the Filecoin network. Uh, Microsoft Ion uh, shipped with IPFS. Um, Ion is a public identity network providing distributed public key infrastructure through decentralized identifiers. Uh, the IPFS community has actually been working with Microsoft um, to integrate Ion and, and IPFS since 2019. So this is a two-year collaboration. And IPFS, of course, comes into the picture at the storage layer. Uh, where ION can aggregate transactions into batches and add those batches to IPFS. Uh, Fleek um, shipped automatic archiving on Filecoin. So Fleek storage is uh, a super easy to use Dropbox style interface that private that's also privacy preserving. Um, and that easy to use interface now hosts and stores on IPFS and automatically back, backs up your files onto Filecoin for, for preservation in the long term. And so this is just an amazing uh, consumer application that we think can multiply, act as an ecosystem multiplier in onboarding all sorts of new users that want to store their files on IPFS and Filecoin through an easy drag and drop interface. Uh, you know, this is something that my mom can use, for example, which is really exciting. Uh, and then finally, uh, IPFS and Filecoin are now becoming the default tooling for NFTs. Uh, the team launched NFT uh, Storage, which is this uh, website that makes it super easy for developers to store NFT data on IPFS and Filecoin uh, in a really, really easy fashion. Uh, and, um, you know, an exciting news consensus lined up a new side chain called Palm, which uh, is going to be focused on NFTs. And they're also collaborating with IPFS and Filecoin as the default storage layer for that as well. Uh, there are many, many more examples of how IPFS and Filecoin are making huge inroads into NFTs. Uh, and we can probably expand on that in a full 20 minute video in and of itself. Great. Um, so this is a huge call to action. If you have an idea for an ecosystem multiplier in any in any respect, whether it's a, a new organization that bridges to another Web3 blockchain or opens up a new use case, please ping me on Slack. I'm Proto Colin. I would love to hear about it. Great. So we just covered ecosystem multipliers, which was the top kind of layer of the approach. Uh, so now we're going to go into a few examples of how developers are entering the ecosystem through hackathons, how projects are forming through accelerators and grants and other mentorship, and how businesses are launching and growing exponentially through ecosystem funding and growth support. Um, you know, it's important to note that you know, within developers, we have a very strong and growing developer community. Uh, Outlier Ventures published their annual report, uh, which ranked Filecoin as number four on the top five most ap actively developed blockchain protocols for developers, uh, which is super exciting. And we believe in 2021 and through 2022, the momentum will continue to accelerate. And we want to facilitate lots of opportunities for uh, developers to join the ecosystem, try out IPFS and Filecoin in really easy ways. And so in the month of March, we uh, 
you know, tail end of February, actually, we launched a few hackathons. Uh, East Denver was a huge success where both IPFS and Filecoin was a sponsor and uh, hundreds of developers used IPFS and Filecoin for their applications that they developed here. Uh, NFT Hack, this was run by ETH Global. Uh, this was fantastic. There was over 182 projects submitted using IPFS and Filecoin uh, that you know, were NFT related applications and, uh, and tooling. Uh, Chainlink is actually a hackathon that's ongoing right now. It runs through to April 11th. And so this builds on the uh, ecosystem multiplier that we described, um, building the next generation of smart contracts on Chainlink and Filecoin. There are lots and lots of exciting projects. There are hundreds of uh, f developers actively devel developing on Chainlink and Filecoin. So check it out if you haven't. We're excited to showcase some of the ones uh, at the end of the hackathon. And finally, Gitcoin uh, GR9 was also occurred during the month of March. Uh, there were 35 uh, project submissions using IPFS and Filecoin and uh, hundreds of developers participating. So that was another amazing hackathon that came to fruition. Now, moving on to projects uh, in uh, the first in the first little bit of 2021, our first accelerator cohort graduated. Uh, this was the Filecoin Launchpad Accelerator uh, that was led by Tachyon, uh, which is a member of the Consensus family. 13 teams uh, showcased their amazing products and protocols uh, that, were, that involved IPFS and Filecoin at Demo Day, which was really, really exciting. That was the culmination of three months of intense coaching and mentorship through the Accelerator program. This represented a variety of use cases from enterprise to consumer and finance. And actually, I'm proud to say that many, and if not most of these companies have already secured funding to become really great businesses. Um, and that's super exciting because it really completes the, um, the cycle of developers entering the ecosystem, forming projects, getting the mentorship uh, and structured programming through these accelerators, but also coming out the other end in funded businesses that can now grow to new heights. I'll showcase just a few of them. Uh, Powerloom uh, is a trust protocol that generates generates verifiable snapshot shots with cryptographic proofs and puts that on the Filecoin network. Uh, Huddle is a video conferencing solution that uses IPFS and Filecoin, and that's scaling to developing economies. It's a very promising platform, especially for classes. Um, secured finance it opens up a whole new uh, a variety of DeFi use cases on top of Filecoin, including yield curves, structured products, and cross-chain settlements. And Mile is tackling uh, retrieval markets and CDN markets on top of Filecoin, which is an incredibly powerful area that I think will gain a tremendous amount of traction in 2021. Um, we're also hosting uh, Filecoin Frontier Demo Day. Uh, Alcoin Frontier is our second major accelerator. It's led by Long Hash Ventures, which is headquartered in Singapore and Shanghai. Um, they'll be hosting their demo day for, I believe, 12 teams on April the 23rd. So please sign up for demo day. This is going to be an incredible event. We'll be ushering you know, these 12 teams into real businesses within the Filecoin ecosystem after another uh, uh, three months of intense mentorship with the long cash uh, and advisory teams. So we're super excited about this. And of course, there will be many, many new accelerators throughout North America, Europe, Asia, and many more continents in 2021 and 2022. I'm super excited to announce these over the coming weeks. Finally, at the tail end, I want to highlight some of the major ecosystem capital that's going into projects and businesses uh, within the ecosystem. Uh, Fenbushi actually raised a Filecoin ecosystem fund that was about uh, $23 million, or I believe 300,000 Filecoin. And so it's investing this kind of fund into major applications and use cases across IPFS and Filecoin, and is using the accelerators that we just mentioned as, as you know, a great way to, to uh, examine new businesses joining the Filecoin ecosystem. So we're very uh, excited to collaborate with Fembushi on this. This was um, uh, a, a great thing to, to be able to accelerate the growth and give entrepreneurs the capital they need for their to, uh, to enable their projects and organizations to reach new heights. Uh, 
Um, Huobi also launched a $10 million Filecoin incubation center and venture capital fund. And so Huobi uh, is one of the you know, largest exchanges in Asia. Uh, they'll be running all sorts of events uh, throughout Asia, but also be giving lots of mentorship and support to uh, companies and projects within the Filecoin ecosystem with their $10 million fund. And so they've, I think, already made a number of investments, which is great news as well. And of course, there will be more ecosystem funds and support for entrepreneurs, projects, and organizations to come as well. Uh, very important. We are definitely doubling down on hackathons and accelerators and other educational programs on top of IPFS and Filecoin. If you want to host a hackathon or an accelerator, or if you want to be an ambassador for the Filecoin network, please ping me on Slack and Protocol, and I would love to hear from you. Uh, there's lots and lots of opportunities to, to kind of help accelerate this ecosystem together. Great. So uh, the last section I want to cover is minor growth. And so these are some tools and resources to help miners incubate, grow, prosper, and expand geographically. Lots of progress from the miner side uh, to highlight. Um, miners are really the backbone of the Filecoin ecosystem. They're the ones that provide this valuable service to, um, to developers and users all over the world. This is a very old uh, snapshot of a lot of logos from the Filecoin ecosystem. So this needs to be updated uh, and, and we'll kind of reach out to the community to, to send in their logo soon. But you can already see there are all um, over 1,500 miners that have joined the ecosystem and are prospering. Uh, network growth has, has, of course, reached a new all-time high. Uh, it reached 3.8 exabytes in less than six months after launch, which is absolutely incredible. And this hasn't been slowing down one iota. Uh, this is enough to store over a billion HD movies, 1080p movies, um, six, 17,000 Wikipedias, or 500 times the Netflix movie archive, which is really remarkable. Um, and I'm proud to say the network power actually hit the baseline in March as well, which is great news for the, for the Filecoin mining ecosystem. Uh, Filecoin miners uh, have all sorts of different facilities all over the world. Uh, many of them are extremely professional data centers, as you can see from some of these images. Uh, and uh, some new um, kind of organizations are actually joining. Uh, there's an IPFS industrial park that's uh, planned for the next five years that has attracted over a billion dollars in investment that will be deployed over the next five years. And this could really mean, um, you know, really professional, uh, you know, uh, uh, centers where Filecoin mining happens. Uh, the mining power in the Filecoin network is very decentralized. Um, you can see from this chart that, um, you know, miners have um, relatively small portions of the mining power. And so as a whole, they contribute to uh, providing this valuable service. And I'm proud to say that we're increasing rapidly in geographic distribution, especially in North America and Europe and also in Australia. We see lots of new miners popping up and accelerating their operations. Uh, we've also launched uh, a number of new uh, community forums as a community. Uh, this one is moderated by Coin Summer and is uh, really targeted towards the Chinese community. Uh, it's a, a GitHub repo that is in, in Chinese uh, that uh, showcases a number of different miners and ecosystem projects as well. And of course, um, you know, there are four implementations, of the Filecoin protocol that are now interoperating with mainnet, which provides an incredible layer of security and differentiation. Uh, Venus is led by the IPFS force team. Uh, Lotus is led by protocol labs. Forest in, in Rust is led by Chainsafe, and Fuhan is in C++ is led by Sora Mitsu. And so these are all interoperating on mainnet today and uh, provide really just an incredible layer of security in case any one of these implementations has, a, has a, an issue or anything like that in the future. Um, I'm proud to say that there are over 6,000 open source contributors that have contributed to the Filecoin project across its many repos, uh, which is, you know, double or triple what it was um, sometime last year, which is really, really exciting. Um, it continues to accelerate the number of uh, open source contributors that are joining the fray and contributing code, code to the project. Um, and 
perhaps the most exciting part for me is that miners are investing in the Filecoin ecosystem. They are funding ecosystem projects. They are launching applications on top of the network. They're participating in Filecoin Plus. They're finding and storing new data sets to put on, uh, on the Filecoin network and store real data. Uh, they're expanding their operations ge geographically, and uh, they all have a very strong communication and presence in the community, which is really important as well. So really want to thank the miners that have been invested beyond just my, their mining operations, but investing in the ecosystem in a number of different ways. So um, that was a brief update on all the, some of the activity that's been happening uh, in the last month. Uh, it roughly breaks down into ecosystem multipliers, developers, accelerators, ecosystem capital, and minor growth. Um, I'll conclude with a couple final messages. Of course, Filecoin is not just software. This is a rapidly growing ecosystem of thousands of talented people working towards a common goal. And I really wanted to leave with a heartfelt thank you to the organizations and individuals that are so committed to developing the Filecoin ecosystem. This includes miners, ecosystem collaborators, developers, community members, and many, many more. I want to thank you for advancing our collective mission. You are helping make Filecoin a reality, and we're excited and grateful to be building alongside uh, alongside you. Um, and of course, um, you know this is just the beginning. Uh, there is such an incredible ramp to to accomplishing this very bold mission for the network, and together we're going to make that a reality. Thank you so much, and uh, see you in the community.